there are three most important things that you must understand if you want to determine the sex of your baby number one you must know how to calculate your ovulation number two you must know how the semen the middle sperm how it works and number three you must know different sex positions. I can promise you that this is not just a clickbait that if you stay with me till the end, I will teach you how all these steps work together to help you determine if you want to have a boy or if you want to have a girl. For those of us that, okay, you're not ready to have a baby or you're not even trying to give birth or anything, it's also important for you guys to understand this because it can help you to prevent pregnancy. Hi and welcome to Funky Female Friday, otherwise called Triple F with Dr. Obels. So if you want to follow me up and have more discussions like this, you can go on Facebook. There's a group called Triple F. You can just join the group, but make sure that you're 18 and you are a woman. Now, let's talk about the first ovulation. A lot of women have been having challenges trying to calculate their ovulation, but as much as possible, I'll try not to use medical jargon so that I can explain everything and make it very easy for you. Every woman's ovulation is usually 14 days before her next period. Now, it's very easy for you to calculate if you have a regular menstrual cycle. So, like if you have a 28-day menstrual cycle, you already know that your ovulation is going to fall on what? Day 14. If you have a 26-day menstrual cycle, you already know that your ovulation is going to fall on what? Day 12. For those of you that have irregular menstruation, you also have irregular ovulation period. So it's important for you to know the major signs of ovulation so that when it's happening, you will know that you are ovulating. Some of those signs are you find a discharge that looks like egg whites that is a little bit stretchy. Some women usually feel breast pain and usually have high sexual drive and for some others there's usually like an increased body temperature a little bit it just goes up a little bit so if you actually find the signs you know that you are ovulating okay and for those of us that okay you're not ready to have a baby or you're not even trying to give birth or anything it's also important for you guys to understand this because it can help you to prevent pregnancy because if you have sex during your ovulation or close to your ovulation, three, four days before, after your ovulation, it's very possible for you to get pregnant. Why? That moves us to the next one, understanding the sperm. Every man has two different types of sperm. He has the one that carries the X chromosome, which represents the female, and the one that carries the Y chromosome, which represents the male. Now, according to Schittel, which was the physician that discovered this method in the 1960s, he said that the male sperm usually has a round head, is very fast and is very light, while the female sperm has an oval head. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say she. It's heavier and also it moves slowly. Another theory from Schittel is that the male sperm survives more in an alkaline solution while the female sperm survives more in an acidic solution. And we all know that the vagina is quite acidic. The next thing we should understand about the sperm is that it can last in the woman's body for up to four to five days. Moving on to the sex positions, you can have deep penetrative sex and you can have shallow penetrative sex. Now in deep penetrative sex, the man comes from behind the woman and they just engage in sexual intercourse. While in shallow penetrative sex, the man is usually facing the woman like in the missionary style. Now, how does all these three things come together to determine if you have a male child or a female child? The male sperm, because it swings faster, have been theorized that using this method, when the egg comes out, because in ovulation, the egg is released from your ovaries into your fallopian tubes, then it travels all the way down to your womb to get fertilized so that you can get pregnant. Although most of the time, fertilization usually occurs in your fallopian tube. 
Now, as a woman, if you want to have a male child, this is how you go about it. You make sure that you have sex on the day of your ovulation or a day or two after your ovulation so that when the man comes inside of you, the male sperm has the opportunity to swim faster and get in contact with the egg first of all. And if the man comes from behind, it increases the possibility of these sperms getting in contact with the egg and you having a male child. On the other hand, if you want to have a female child, you have to ensure that you have sex about three days before your ovulation so that by the time your partner comes inside of you, all the male sperm cells would have died before your ovulation occurs. And if you use the missionary position, it helps to enhance this process of killing the male sperm cells faster and giving the female sperm cells opportunity to get in contact with your egg and produce a female offspring. It's as easy as that. So why personally I have not tried out this method? Um, Landrum Shittle has actually sworn that this method actually have 75% success rate. Lots and lots of physicians have come to dispute it that it's not true, it's actually the other way around. But this method is actually gaining a lot of popularity and some women that actually tried it actually said it worked. So what's the harm in trying it? Because if you don't try it, you can as well still have any, um, any sex of child. And if you try it, there's no loss, you know. The only thing is that you may just be amongst the 25% of people that this may not actually work for. So what other natural method have you heard that can help us in selecting the sex of our babies? Do well to drop it in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week Friday. Bye. So we have like three. Number two, you must know how the male sperm is here female sperm. And the third one is that you must know the different you must know the different sex position. You must know some sex positions. <laughs>